कर्म एंड संस्कार कर्म मीन्स एक्शन ऑल द एक्शन ब्रिंग इक्वल एंड ऑपोजिट रिजल्ट एक्शन एंड रिएक्शन एंड्स द होल चेन बट एक्शन रिएक्शन एंड फ्रॉम दैट दोज कर्मास आर ऑल्सो कंटिन्यू फर्दर एंड देर इज चेन रिएक्शन ऑफ एक्शन एंड रिएक्शन दिस इज कॉल्ड लॉ ऑफ कर्मा वी परफॉर्म एक्शन ऑल द टाइम even when we are sleeping our heart beat is action stomach is digesting is action we are dreaming is also action so no one can stay without action we perform action physically by doing physical activities we also perform action by speech and we also perform action by the mind the physical action brings physical reaction but many times it brings reaction in the form of speech and thoughts so really simple physical action can result into multiple reaction same way speech can produce results into thought speech or action form and mind can also form action into thought speech and action and all the results of karma or first cause become new karma the reaction of the karma becomes new karma and form new reaction so you can see the combination of body senses and mind produce karma which is complex combination at complex combination again continues as a cycle of cause and effect so gahano karmana gati it is so mysterious to understand the law of karma you cannot pinpoint the roots because it spreads all over actions are different kind actions produce different kind of results some results come immediately some results came come take little more time and some results cannot be fulfilled in this life would continue next life so kriya and karma are the actions done like eating if you are hungry you eat your hunger is satisfied that is kriya and karma done from day to day agami karma bring the results after some time it is like if somebody smokes over a long period of time it brings some kind of disease like cancer in a few years or lung disease something like this agami karma that brings the results after some time but some of the actions that produce the results which are stored in the unconscious mind or chitta so this is called sanchita karma and this stored karmas they bring out lump sum of result in future time in this life or next life this is called prarabdha karma or predestination or fate so really there is no such thing or predestination it is a result of built up karma so kriya man karma action and reaction that takes place immediately it is like checking account no interest agami karma is like saving account that you get some interest but sanchit karma is like fixed deposit that gives you lump sum of results all of a sudden so sanchit karma brings the results all of a sudden as if for example you get win a lottery you get sudden success you get something unexpected that is good result of prarabdha karma and same way you get into accident or you lose a lot tremendous disaster all of a sudden accumulated is also results of prarabdha karma 
So karma brings the results. Then another part takes place which is called sanskara. So anytime you experience anything, you perform any action, that brings reaction. But with our intellect, we react to that reaction. And generally we say, I like it or I dislike it. So any reaction that is strong likes or strong dislikes. Strong like is a raga and strong dislike is dvesha. They get registered in the unconscious mind. Besides mind and intellect, we have unconscious mind and unconscious mind stores those impressions. This unconscious mind is called chitta and all the impressions stored in the unconscious mind or chitta is called sanskaras. So really all the actions have reactions and then also they produce some impression. For example, if you get burnt by hot water. So that is action. Its reaction is you get burnt skin. That is reaction. You feel pain. That is a reaction. But it leaves, it leaves a, bar, uh, it a mark. A kind of scab or some kind of mark. And that is sanskaras. So no matter whatever we do, we produce reaction to all the actions and they leave some impression. If you produce impression, that means that would control your life and that would prolong your process of transmigration. So not to produce any karma even while doing action is called karma yoga. Produ doing any action without attachment or likes or dislikes, you turn karma into karma yoga. So we have to perform action in the world, but you can turn into karma yoga and become free. Don't produce any results or any sanskaras that is karma yoga. So karma we cannot avoid but we can avoid strong likes and dislikes. So if you don't have strong likes and dislikes, you don't remember that. It doesn't matter. So strong likes and dislikes, for example, you meet so many people in everyday life, but you remember the name of people or the remember the person who honored you or who insulted you. You eat food in the restaurant, but you remember the experience that was very pleasant. You remember the restaurant and the location. And any restaurant you got sick, you remember that also. So if you maintain mental equilibrium without likes or dislikes, you live in the world and still remain free from the consequences. Jai.